In this video, we talk about what the hedonic treadmill is and how the Stoics adapted to it. So let's get right into it. Now, can you recall the last time you were dreaming of buying a new house or getting a long awaited promotion at work or perhaps owning a fancy car? Do you remember fantasizing about how happy you would be if you attained one of those things? Well, it's your lucky day. Let's together imagine that this much anticipated day has come around and you actually do attain one of those things. You suddenly now find that you're experiencing an initial surge of happiness, satisfaction, and excitement. But soon realize it didn't last that long or wasn't as intense as you'd imagined. Instead, you suddenly find yourself getting used to your new car, your new house, or the new promotion, and eventually start desiring even more to maintain or get back to this new level of happiness. Most of us have gone through this cycle. It's referred to as the hedonic treadmill or sometimes known as the hedonic adaptation. So what is the hedonic treadmill? Now simply put, the hedonic treadmill is the idea that an individual's level of happiness after rising or falling in response to a positive or negative life event ultimately reverts back to where it was prior to these experiences. This initial base level of happiness is known as your happiness set point and is genetically unique to each of us. Now, modern day psychologists say that this base set point for happiness is responsible for 50% of our inherited or genetic happiness and that the positive or negative effects caused by events in our lives fade over time to this set point by the process of hedonic adaptation. So while hedonic adaptation may not be something people can avoid entirely, research indicates that your actions, thoughts, and attitudes account for the other 40 or 50% of your happiness, which is quite significant. So the question is, how do we make the most of this 40 to 50% that is in our control? And by doing so, how do we best adapt to the hedonic treadmill? Now, luckily for us, the hedonic treadmill is not a new issue. The ancient Stoic philosophers experienced this too. Understanding hedonic adaptation through an ancient lens helped the Stoics accept and manage the events in their lives with a sense of tranquility and greater clarity. So how did they do this? In its simplest forms, the Stoics did this by wanting what they have and being content when those things are taken away from them. Stoic philosophers were okay with allowing ourselves to enjoy and appreciate comforts, luxuries, riches, and the finer things in life. Just as long as we don't confuse or attach such things with the attainment of long-term happiness or tranquility. Put simply, the Stoics understood that things don't bring us long-term happiness. And by attaching our happiness to these things, Hedonic adaptation would ensure that we become accustomed to our new normal. Lastly, the Stoics also tell us that it's more about training ourselves to savor simple pleasures in our lives as they happen, as this will help us hang on to our happiness a little longer. This can be the equivalent of having a gratitude practice in the modern day. So, that being said, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and share the video. Oh, and consider subscribing. Thank you and see you in the next one.